Assalamu alaikum Today we are going to discuss about factor theorem as we have already explained uh, with the example uh, the remainder theorem thoroughly in the previous video So uh, let's uh, begin with the revision let's have a quick drill that uh, remainder theorem I, I just explained that if a polynomial p of x is divided by linear divisor x minus a then the remainder is p of a right and uh, we have done an example over there that the answer we were obtaining is uh, such kind of constant number uh, and that was unique today we are going to uh, discuss about the factor theorem well factor theorem is uh, the polynomial x minus a is a factor of polynomial p of x if and if p of a is equals to 0 it is very clear with the definition that we are going to obtain an answer a result having uh, equals to 0 how we are going to learn about it let's have an example in uh, mathematical form that if we have a 12 number right if we break it into factors what we will have first first is 12 into 12 1 then another one is uh, 3 4 times right and 4 obviously can be broken in uh, broken in the form of 2 and 2 right and uh, another factor is 6 2 times so these are the factors if we divide it it will be completely divisible by these of the uh, factors one by one and uh, will uh, leaving in remainder as equals to zero but on other hand if you divide this 13 if uh, there, there are there is only one factor if you check 13 and 1 and uh, because since it's a prime number so you are not going to have the factors only in the in such kind of numbers you can obtain the factors so we are going to do the higher level question with using polynomials in uh, algebraic form uh, then you will learn inshallah factor theorem more conveniently here I have written one question for you that you have to find if x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial given the polynomial p of x we are going to suppose it p of x is equals to x cube minus 4 x square plus of 3 of x plus of 2 so the remainder they are saying that it's a factor of this so for our convenience we are going to let it p of x equals to this then the remainder for x minus 2 is what we are going to do putting it equals to 0 we are equating it as 0 so after equating it with 0 we will get x equals to 2 whenever the number is negative it will on the other hand you will find uh, it positive and if it is a uh, positive over here we will certainly get x equals to minus 2 so here we have positive 2 where there is an x in the polynomial we are going to just substitute this x so p 2 equals to 2 cube minus 4 times 2 square plus 3 2 and constant is 2 so here p of 2 will be equals to 2 cube is 8 minus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3 to 6 and uh, plus 2 so here, here we have got this 8 and this 8 from here and this 16. 8 and 8 we will uh, add the positive ones first. So it will be 16 and minus 16. The answer will be equals to 0. According to the definition we have proved it. So it says that x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. Determine if this is a factor of this. In such a way you will find that uh, after putting this x equals to 2 whenever whatever the factor is given to you you are going to uh, just simply put it in the polynomial and then if we obtain the answer as 0 that will be that uh, factor is a factor of this polynomial it will be a proof so here we have ended the question and found the answer I hope that you have understood inshallah ta'ala in the next video um, I will come up with the queries of yours Inshallah Ta'ala uh, We'll see you In the next video Allah Hafiz